My father was in the British diplomatic service, and we, um, and at one point when I was a small child, we were in Saudi Arabia, and it was at a time when the relationship between the the relations between the West and the Arab world was particularly bad, and so the 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 Saudis closed down all the Western embassies, and so we had to leave. So my mother and I went back to England, and my father stayed on with the the rest of the the. The staff there at the embassy, and it took them ten days to burn the papers. You know, at that time they didn't have shredders, and you can't take a stack of papers and just put them on a fire. You have to burn them. It took them ten days to burn all the papers from the embassy. So this huge embassy, which is a very big one, landed on the the doorstep of the Foreign Office, which is the equivalent of the State Department, and they had to be reallocated. Well, it was a large embassy, and it took them a while to do it. So we actually spent about six months in England, and my mother and I spent a lot of time driving around. And at one point on one of these trips, we tuned into a BBC radio play about four climbers that were caught in a blizzard in the Alps. And they managed to pitch their tent, and they managed to sort of huddle together. And there they were, knee to knee, toe to toe, face to face, eyeball to eyeball, looking at each other and hoping that the blizzard would let up. But it didn't. It just got worse. And as it got worse, they began opening up to each other and sharing things that they just hadn't shared with each other before then. And one of them said, described his marriage and how disappointing that was. And the others said no, they were surprised by it. But then one of them said this. He said, "You know, I always wanted to emigrate to New Zealand, but I never had the guts to do it." And all the others said, "What do you mean you didn't have the guts to do it? You're the most courageous climber of us all." And he silenced them and he said, "There's short-term guts, and there's long-term guts. I've got short-term guts." Let me suggest to you that being a student of leadership and developing yourselves as leaders, connecting and creating—that's about long-term guts. I wish you all the best as you continue to and create on your path to great leadership. Thank you very much.